Hey YouTube! Today we're gonna have fun. We're gonna learn about the Photoshop tool called Liquify. It's one of my favorite tools. Oh, ee ho, hee ho, chicka cheek in a big bowl. Like chickens, like to hatch them eggs to eat them up, eat them up. I love some Chucky. All right, all right. So guys, today we're gonna learn a Photoshop tip called Liquify. It's one of my favorite tools. I love using it because it's it's just fun. It's just a fun tool. And uh, Liquify, you can do all kinds of stuff with Liquify. If you have a, a graphic you just wanna stretch, pull, you know, do all kinds of stuff with. It's a great tool to use. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to use that Liquify. All right, let's go ahead and get started with Liquify. First, what we're gonna do is, I've got some screenshots or screen grabs that I'm gonna use for examples. So uh, we'll start with this screen grab and we're gonna open with Adobe Photoshop. So, here we go, and it's just a happy head picture of me. So, uh, first of all, let's uh, go up here. At the top, you'll see Filter. You click that, and then you'll see, scroll down to about the one, two, three, four, five, six one down is called Liquify. So, we're going to go ahead and open that up. Now, uh, on Liquify, you've got a bunch of tools over here. And this one is called the Reconstruct tool. This is called the Forward Warp tool. This one's Twirl Clockwise tool. This is the, what does that say? Pucker tool, which squeezes it down. We have the Bloat tool. We have the Rush Left tool. We have, what is, it? oh, Push Left tool. We have the Freeze Mask tool. We have the thaw mask tool and the hand tool and the zoom. Now, what I use mostly is the forward warp, warp tool. Forward warp tool. And this tool um, allows you to uh, push anything uh, that you want. Like, let me, give, let me show you. You click the button and then you can move the head like that. And it just pushes the actual thing and, and there's a little see the little crosshair there and the crosshair is the exact center and depending on what brush size makes it as big as you want so let's um, we're just playing around here so that is the push tool which it's fun. It's fun to do stuff with. I really, <laughs> I really like the the push tool. Now, the thing about if you want to do funny pictures, but you want it to look more real, um, what you want to do if you click restore all over here, that's how you get it back to the original. But um, if you want to do just small things, if you do subtleties. It won't look as photoshopped. Now see, I widened my eyes there, but I didn't do it too much. You see, notice how it didn't look too bad. You know, the further you go, the worse it's going to look like Photoshop. If you notice the nose here, it looks pulled and stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and restore all. Now, man, my eyes look close together there because I'm used to looking at the uh, the the uh, the other one. But <clears throat> anyway, what's key? The key factor with this um, push tool is the the brush size. So go up here and adjust the brush size. Um, I would say like that, and you notice it's smaller, and it selects a smaller area. Uh, like the note, let's just try the nose for example. 
if you notice it's just pulling just a little bit of the nose now <laughs> my nose <laughs> looks a little bigger and like I said, the smaller the brush size, the smaller the area that you're going to be pulling. So let's uh, go ahead and do something <laughs> like that. Oh, man, that's funny. You know, you can. there's so much you can do with this liquify tool. I mean, it's crazy. Let's see if I can look like Spock or something. Yeah, that doesn't look like Spock. But if I wanted to look like Spock... All I go down here is the brush tool size and go like this. It makes it smaller. So now I can just drag part of the ear, just the ear. You see how it's, how that worked? <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Um, oh wow. It looks, that's strange looking. Wow. That's kind of creepy looking yeah all right let's restore all now let's go to the next tool and it's called the reconstruct tool now i'm not sure what this does i don't use it too much doesn't seem to be do anything i guess if you did this and then you use the reconstruct tool does that help it oh okay yeah, it just blends it back in there. That's all it's doing is blending it. So let's restore all. Now, let's look at the swirl tool. Now, this one's kind of cool, and you probably want to adjust the brush size a little bit. But wherever you click, it'll make a swirl. You see? See how that swirl is? I can swirl my head all the way around if I wanted to. Whoa! Man, I'm really swirly. All right. So I had the brush tool way too big. So let's go down to like here. Now, we'll swirl just my eyebrow. See how the brush size actually, you know. Oh, I got a broken nose. And uh, it goes clockwise. <laughs> swirly head um okay so anyway that's the swirl and you can use that on a lot of stuff uh let's say i want it to be as big as my head and just swirl my head let's just uh boost up the swirl the now watch this now that i have the brush size size of my head watch what it swirls just my head so now i look like a piece of spaghetti noodle or something <laughs> So there's that. Now, the next tool is called the pucker tool. And this is a good one, too. Watch what it does to my head. <laughs> I look like goat man. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, restore this. Let's drop down the size of the brush. Um, I'm going to say to like 100... 151 now watch what this does to my eyes now i can have really small eyes <laughs> let's go smaller oh man this is too much fun <laughs> so that's the uh pucker tool you can basically pucker anything and uh so it's a it's fun to work with this but, you know, you can move it around. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff. So let's go ahead and reset. Now, the next tool is the bloat tool. And this basically pulls apart up instead of in like the last one did. So let's pull my eyes, make them bigger. So that's kind of cool, right? <laughs> Whatever you do, don't look into his eyes. <laughs> You'll be mesmerized with his eyes. <laughs> Let's see how far they pucker. Oh, man. It looked bloodshot there. Look like he's got some glasses on or something. All right. Let's reset it. Let's go bigger with the pucker tool. Let's take the brush size up a little bit. 
Now, let's just do the head and see how it puckers. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, man. I, I just, this is my favorite tool by far. Um, let's restore all. Let's make my mouth big. Make a big forehead. <laughs> if he was making a noise, it'd be. <laughs> oh man, too much fun! All right, let's um, let's go ahead and up the tool size a little bit, and let's make his forehead big. I say his, but mine. That's weird. Looks like a hat. I don't like that. It's too big. Let's go down to 500. All right, now let's just do his forehead. <laughs> it looks like Bubba. <laughs> Oh man! Hey, how you doing? I, my name Bubba. I come around here and I went downtown and then I looked at the Google. Oh man, let's go up here to the push tool and bring his head out a little bit. I say his because it's not me. It used to be, not anymore. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> Hey, I tell you what, you get one of them things and you just going on around with it, and I tell you what, <laughs> it doesn't look nothing like me. And once again, I said the subtleties is what makes makes it all funny. So uh, let's go back to restore. Now, this next tool is called the push left. I don't know what this is. I haven't really. Uh, okay, you can just. <laughs> I don't like that because there's really no control to it. <laughs> That's a pretty cool tool, but it, I have a hard time controlling it. So what, what's the next one? This is called the freeze mask tool. Let's see what it does. Uh, okay. It's just adding a, a color of some sort to it. Yeah. All right. So. Eh. I can't restore it. All right. Let's just hit cancel. Let's go back up here to the filter and go liquefy again. Now, what else do we got here? We got the thaw mask tool, and I'm guessing it's just the opposite of the last one, so I'm not going to do that. But um, let's uh, let's create something else here. Um, let's do the forward warp tool, and let's drop the size down to about 300, and. Uh, Let's just make my head really big. Seems like I go back to that one a lot. All right. Now I'm a Ferengi on Star Trek going, hey! Hey! <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh man, I love this tool. All right, that's enough of that. Let's um, now. I want to show you something really cool too with the twirl tool, but I have to open up another um, picture, and it's one that I'm looking to the side. You can see here I'm looking to the side. So let's go back up to liquify, filter, liquify. Now, if you use the twirl clockwise tool. Watch what this does. Now I have to bring it down to, uh, let's say, uh, no, not 20. Let's bring it down to 50. Need it to be the size of my eye. So let's do 100. All right, that's about the size of my eye. Now watch this. Now, 
didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, maybe I should go bigger. All right, let's go 150. Restore it. Now, I'll see if I can twist the whole eye. Well, that just looks plain weird. <laughs> no, nah, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. What I was trying to do is make the eyes look in a different direction. Let's see if I can use the push tool to do this. No, <laughs> but that is funny looking. <laughs> oh, I guess the best way to do that would be to um, um, just edit with Photoshop and make the eyes look in a different direction. But um, <laughs> it's still funny nonetheless. Oh, man. I definitely love this. This is a fun, fun, fun tool. Okay, now I'm the devil. I'm the devil. Give myself a real devilish grin. I <laughs> wonder what he's looking at. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, let's see what else we can do. Let's uh, cancel this, and let's go back to this one. And uh, go back to Liquify. Now, um, let's see what we can do with this. I'm just going to play around. So, I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. No, I'm really droopy. I'm really droopy. I'm droopy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, maybe you guys don't think it's as much fun as I do, but man, I, I just get a kick at, uh, out of all the stuff that I can do with this. Oh, it's too way too big. All right, let's see. Now that's just plain doesn't look good at all. Subtlety. Subtlety is the key. Gonna try to gain some weight here. <laughs> Look like I've gained some weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's just too funny. Well, I ate 10 pounds of beef today. The beef is good. I, I really like it. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can do. No, that doesn't look good at all. No, no. We need to bring up the brush size. All right, here we go. Let's uh, start here and go in. See, the subtlety, that is the key. Just subtle. Now I've lost a lot of weight. <laughs> it looks like uh, 
Laurel and Hardy, the guy, the skinny guy, kind of looks like him. <laughs> oh man, this is just too much fun. I really like this. <laughs> it looks like I don't have any teeth. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, gosh. See, guys, so you can have just all kinds of fun with this. And uh, I just love this tool. It's by far one of my favorites. And you can just have fun. Now I look like an alien. All right. Well, let's see. What else do we want to do? Uh, let's do? Let's do the pucker tool. <laughs> <laughs> I have more hair. <laughs> oh, to me, that is just hilarious. <laughs> George Bush. <laughs> it looks like George Bush. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's hilarious. Oh man. Oh. I can't do a George B Bush impersonation. I wish I could cuz that would be just hilarious. <laughs> All right. Oh man. All right, one more. One more. We're going to do one more. <laughs> I think I did this one already. Oh, uh, Mr. Peanut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Just too much fun. I'm just having too much fun. <laughs> oh my goodness okay well guys that's about it um i've just had way too much fun here um it, well i can't stop doing it it's just too much fun man i just love this tool Oh man, that's the dude from um Oh, what is it? Pirates of the Caribbean. The the fish dude. <laughs> that's that dude. <laughs> All right. Oh man. Oh, I'm just having too much fun. Let's try it down this time. <laughs> Mushroom head. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That's it. No more. No more. Oh, yeah. Then there you go. Ah! <laughs> Oh man, I tell you what. Now, I want to tell you one thing. There is a liquify for After Effects, and it basically does the same thing, but it does it on uh, a video instead of just a, a photo like Photoshop does. So, uh, in another episode, I'm going to do the After Effects liquify, which, once again, that's <laughs> one of my favorite tools as well. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> now he's looking the other way. <laughs> oh man! Oh. 
that's just plain weird looking. All right, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. And that is that. All right, well, that is Liquify. I hoped it was able to help you out a little bit. Maybe you can have fun with it and play around with Liquify uh, and use it in some of your videos. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe, like, do all the stuff that you need to do to stay updated with our newest videos here on the Timmy Tube Network. All right, until next time, we'll see you later. All right. I love some chucky. I like beef chutney. Beef chutney. Beef, 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 beef chutney. Beef, beef, beef chutney. Beef, beef, beef chutney. Beef, beef chutney. I like a big fat beef chutney. <laughs>